Okay, that was really cool. I created this awesome video in the Wondershare Filmora 13 editor. Let me show you how I did it. First, shoot a video like this. You should act like you are creating fire by snapping your finger and also firing up the ball. When throwing the fireball and creating the blast, you should look up like you are actually seeing the blast. With good acting, you can create these videos more realistic. Now just when I snap my finger, fire should appear on my index finger. So go to the stickers tab, then search for fire. Scroll down to find the perfect sticker for your scene. I used this one. It's called Calm Torch Fire. Change the scale and position to place it on my index finger. Now this fire torch needs to follow my index finger which we can do using motion tracking but in this case I will use keyframe animation for best results mainly because I want to rotate the torch as my finger rotates. So this is how it looks. Keyframe animation is quite easy. You can check my channel for tutorials on that. Next search for fireball in the stickers menu. I used this one, it's called 3D Ball Animation Element 18. This time I will show you how easy it is to do motion tracking using the AI tool. First resize it and reposition it. So double click the clip and go to AI tools. Look for the option motion tracking, enable it. Now you need to define the object you want to track by resizing and placing this box on the object. So after that click to start motion track. We will use the clip till here. Once the motion tracking is done, go to link element and select the fireball. Reposition the fireball if needed. So it's now following the ball. Now this is something very important. The moment the ball hits the floor, we will split the clip into two. Then take a screenshot here. Place it on the upper layer. Then we will use a masking tool called parallel lines. Place the line exactly where the ball touches the ground. The purpose of using this masking tool is uh, when the ball touches the ground, it should vanish and it's basically exploding. For this part also, we will use keyframe animation for best result. Lastly, search Blast in the stickers menu. I used this one called Explosion 36. Now go to the effects tab, search for extreme effect. This will add an extreme shake effect when the blast is happening. Proper sound design will make your videos more realistic. In the Wondershare Filmora 13 audio library audio effect, you will find a category called fire. Listen to them and use them accordingly. You can also directly search for the sound effect you want. I also added a suspenseful background music. So finally this is the result.